welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope you're just as excited as I am because today is going to be the first blind box challenge. For those of you who don't know what a blind box is, it's a mystery item or a series of items that you don't know what you're going to get and the goal is to kind of collect all of them. So we got our first one in the mail today. It's more of an activity type of one. But, so it's called Dig a Dozen Gem Blocks. And the point of it is we are going to hammer into different cubes and inside we're going to try to collect all 12 gems, all of the different gems here. Um, and it's not, apparently not guaranteed. Uh, everybody on there said it was something different for them. So some people got all 12, some people only got six and got repeated ones. So I'm pretty excited. I'm also excited because I've actually never done one of these before ever, like dig a gem. So that will be a very fun experience. And they're real stones. And yeah, let's go ahead and give it a go. I was told it was going to be messy, so I'm going to just put down the newspaper. All right, we can look at the specials for this week. So excited. I've been wanting to do the blind box series for a while now. Whoa. I'm not really sure. Oh, it comes with a tray. Okay, so that makes our life a lot easier. Look at them. Oh, and they're light. They're super light. So they all will get individually unwrapped. Oh. And these are cute little cards. So based on what you get, the card is here telling you about the stone. This is the instruction packet. First, soften your block by placing it in a cup of water. In about five minutes, when it sinks, you're ready. I have to soften it. It looks like, I'm not sure why you would need, oh, if you had like a birthday party. This is yours, this is yours. Everybody gets an instruction thing. They're all the same thing, so. In that case, I guess I should probably go and get some water. Um, I want my water, a nice big bowl. I decided maybe we would, you know, have be able to stick two or three in there. And then this is my little bowl for rinsing off. I guess now I have to open all of these. I should probably get a pair of scissors to make my life easier for that. I got some scissors. Okay, we'll just start opening them up. Soften your block by placing it in a cup of water in about five minutes. When it sinks, you're ready. They're all sunk. That took one second, maybe? Oh, I didn't pay attention to... I think this was one. Put it down on the newspaper, and in here is one of a hundred chisels for a kid's birthday party. Be one. See any stone yet? It's really be down there. Oh, I see something. <gasps> Be exhausted after a bunch of these. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. I gotta look at it. Wow, this is a Dalmatian Jasper. I'm gonna try to use my flashlight as another light source for you guys. You can see what I'm doing a little bit better. That kind of works. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. No. Kind of wasteful. That was a small stone, um, but 
Close that. Sweep my mess. I think you're supposed to sweep the stone, but no. Let me do this better. I think that's going to be the best angle to kind of show you guys. I have to just remember. Dalmatian Jasper. Fun. Hopefully you can see that. Look at it! I think this one is known as the Aries Rock. Red Jasper. Yeah, I think this is known as the Aries Rock or the Aries Stone. Because I have some perfume, oil perfume bottle, and it has a bunch of these little stones in it. And it smells amazing. And I feel very powerful when I wear it. Yay! That's so exciting. Okay, and that was number two. We're on to number three. So the tools are obviously made for children. Yes! Okay, so that's what it looks like there. Yay! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited for this one! This is... An unakite? Unakite? Unakite. No. Yeah, I think it's an unakite. It might also be a rhododen... A ro, rhodonite? Rhodonite? I ain't butchering these names. But, this is what it looks like. So it's like pink. There's some pinks here. This. So these are our three so far. We're doing good. I keep them in order too. Three. Okay, so now we have to open some more and let them sink to the bottom. But yeah, a bunch of people on this website on Amazon, that's where I got it. Um, they were all saying it's not guaranteed that you could get every one. So I really hope we're able to get every single one. They stain this tool. So five sunk right to the bottom immediately. There's a lot of air bubbles in four. And it's just like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that or not. I mean, it's sunk, right? So that's probably a good sign. Here we go. Number four. That was a quick one. Oh my gosh. It's always so fun to see the colors. Oh my gosh, it's blue. It's, could this be a, a lapis lazuli? It's like a, it's not as bright as the box picture that it shows. We'll have to go through our illustration cards, I think, and it'll tell us more, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's got like a pale periwinkle blue purpley color to it and throughout. I'm not sure if you guys can see it well. Mm. 
dumb? They're not astonished. Is anyone else having fun? Oh wait, oh my god. <gasps> what? That is a, a rhodonite. If I were to compare. Rhodonite? Okay, number six. Yeah, I think our illustration cards might show us a little bit more detail on it. Maybe I'll do that after the sixth one. I'll go through them so that I know what we're dealing with for the next six. Okay, six goes in there. This is like no longer clear. You have to like dig in there. One is like half and half. It has some looking like jasper and like a clear section. Get back to this. Ooh. Yes. Wow. This one is super blue. Holy cow, this one's wicked blue. You guys can see how blue this is. It's got like gray and brown. This one's really cool. I still want to do other blind boxes, but I decided to pick this one first uh, just because one, I love rocks and crystals and gems and stones and I thought, yay, I'll get to up my collection of them. Um, but in the future, when I do these blind box openings, there's going to be a lot of things that I do that I'm not probably going to want to keep, especially repeats. If I have like repeats of things, or even if I do get a full collection, if it's not something that I really want to hold on to, I might actually try to sell off so that you guys can have it, if, especially if I have like a whole collection or something. So we will see how that goes. But I did make an Amazon wish list for blind boxes and fun activities like this. So if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and seeing my reaction as I open things and have fun with you, um, feel free to click the link in the description box down below and it should bring you right to my wish list. If you guys have any issues ordering, like it doesn't tell you where my address is or, or anything like that, I don't know how I have it set up. I would prefer it to stay more private than not for uh, just, you know, certain purposes. But if it gives you issues, just reach out to me uh, and I will absolutely fill you in and see them in my very messy hands better. See that well? I think you can. Better than you could. They're all very, very cool. <laughs> right into the next one. Ooh, this one's white. Green. This one's black and gray. So it's like a black and gray color. Oh, this one's like marble kind of, but more white. So it's it's mostly white and it's got streaks of like gray. 
in it. This one. Yes. Tell the coloring on that one. Ooh, this is like kind of a very, very pale green color. Maybe some gray. There's some white mixed in and speckles of like black. One. Ooh, this one's very dark. Super dark. It could show the light. I don't think. I have no idea what this could be. Oh, it's kind of got purple in it too. It could be an amethyst, but if it is, it's not very pointy. I usually see pointy ones. Last two. Wow, oh, that's a big one. Now I'm all turned around. I think this is a, a unikite. That they show 12 uh, gems on the box that you can possibly get. Maybe some of these are repeats and because every stone's a little bit different, they're just coming off where they look like one thing or not the other. Because an all white stone, oh, this is a howlite. Yeah, this is howlite, the first white stone. And then this could be an orange calcite, only because, but it's really, oh no, yep, that's what it is. It's an orange calcite. Okay, so the orange calcite is a less common version than the white. So this is considered orange. You can kind of see a tint of orange to it, but that's definitely what that is. So I put them all in this, um, the container that it came in but I do think that one of them they sent the wrong card because I don't have that rock whatsoever so we'll start with the beginning Dalmatian Jasper it looks like this and sure enough so does the rock then we have the red Jasper looks like that and so does the rock. Then a Rodonite looks like this. And this is what it looks like as a rock. A lot of pink and a lot of gray. A lot more than in this card, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. A uh, sodalite looks like this, and just a lighter version of that. This one's super soft. Uh, so I put <laughs> this mystery one that has like clear and red. I'm not sure if you can see that well. Is the Persian Gulf a gate? At first, um, and this one kind of looks that way, except this is what it looks like in the card. And this is the rock. So I, I think that's what it is. Then this beautiful bright blue rock, super blue with some gray and uh, this cute little square patch on the back is a lapsus lazuli then this is definitely how light you can tell it's white it's super square and it's got like marbly gray in it which looks very similar to the card how light is it? so this is the one this is the rock the rock has some black and gray and it's like very solid black and gray 
It could also have a smidge of purple in it, but I put it as an Amazon Knight because, but here's the thing, look at how blue and green that rock is. And this is not anything like that. But you watch, we'll go through the other ones real quick, just so that you can kind of see. So this next one I said was probably a snowflake obsidian. It's like white with black specks. And this is kind of the opposite of what the picture shows. The picture is black with white specks. I guess it could be that too, huh? No, there's not really specks. Maybe though. And magnesium and the lava give the obsidian a dark green to black color. Oh, it could be that maybe. Amethyst? I thought this one properly fit that. Uh, it's mostly purple. It's got different shades. I just wish it was more crystally like these usually are. But I guess when they're tumbled, they probably wouldn't be that. But, but if you're not a fan of purple, no problem. Heating on, heating one will turn it greenish yellow. Interesting. Okay, we already talked about the orange calcite. This definitely is that. It has a slight orange to it in the middle. So that's that one. I wish you guys could see this as clear as I can. Eventually, one day, I will have an amazing camera. Okay, this one's my favorite, my all-time favorite. So, the Unakai, we talked about this one already, but you look at the picture, and that's what it looks like on the card, and this is the most beautiful rock ever. It's got all the dark pink, light pink, peach pink, gray, tan, brown, a little bit of white all within it. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, um, you know, I guess I'm gonna change it. I think that this black one is the snowflake obsidian because it, it does kind of fit that, that look. It has like snowflakes in it and this one has patterns that could be like snowflakes in it. And then I guess this would be the Amazon Knight because uh, there is a hint of a green to it and it's the only one that has a hint of a green so I think it could be that although I wish that it came looking like that because that's a beautiful color in which case that would mean I got one of every single rock that the box advertised which is exciting a picture here with them all all in all pretty fun first blind box I got all the different rocks I had fun doing it, got my hands dirty, had some lighting issues. So I hope everybody has a good rest of the day. Uh, remember to subscribe, share, comment, like, all of those things. It really, really helps me out and I appreciate all of you. So take care, be well.